welcome back to Soap Talk Tuesday. Um, I decided to start calling a little Soap Talks um, Soap Talk Tuesday, and I'm going to try to have one ready every Tuesday. Um, I did create one for last week, but my, I had some laptop issues, and I had deleted the video off of my camcorder, and now I can't get to it on my laptop. So I'm going to remake this one for this coming week. Talk a couple of little things that kind of helped me out. Um, I'm not sure if you had seen my little wagon that I took some pictures of, some oatmeal and goat's milk soap. I got this at a, a yard sale. Um, I also purchased several of these, I think two at a yard sale for 25 cents. And I think this was like a dollar, but I, I bundled some stuff, so it probably didn't even pay a dollar for it. Found this little pedestal. Thought that might be cute for... Um, taking um, some pictures of something on top of it. It was marked a dollar, but like I said, I bundled it, so I probably didn't pay 50 cent. I think this was 50 cent, bundled, not sure how much. And got this little um, little bench here, thought I might set some soaps or something on it. And I found this little basket, and I haven't cleaned it up yet or anything, but it's a cute little basket and a wood basket. I figured I can put some things in it, um, either to display or, or even to give as a gift. Um, but we'll see. I might um, put something, some soaps in that for a consignment store. I, I'm really, really not sure. But anyway, these things are really, really cheap. If you just keep your um, eyes out for them, you know, at, at thrift stores, yard sales, you'll see them. But you got to be thinking on the lines of what could I use to take pictures of my soaps or display my soaps if you're taking pictures of your soaps. And if you're not, then of course you don't need these items. And if you think you might be in the future, then I will go ahead and start, um, start looking for some of them. Also, I um, have some stores that I sell um, my lye soap in, just plain lye soap. Uh, they don't want it wrapped. Well, the last customer, the last lady who sold it to them didn't wrap it. So I thought, hey, I'm not going to label it, wrap it. It saves me money. Um, and I just put the bars in here. And that they provide a box. But I thought, hmm, I picked this up. Um, Lowe's gave it to me. It was just an empty container. The lady had it sitting there. And I said, could I have that box? And she said, yeah, sure, go ahead. Um, she told me to ch check back. And they would... Um, they would give them to me if I saw boxes that I wanted. This one, I think, and I forgot to to um, pay really close attention to what was here, but it seemed like it said something about a rain suit or something or a, or something like that right here. So what I did is I tore that off and I just um, stuck my tag here and my tag here. And what I'm going, what I plan to do is get this box in another store. So I'm going to be checking with a couple of locations. Uh, I just show up with this box. Um, I don't take the box in. I go in and just ask if they're interested in carrying my lye soap and tell them that I'm, I'm interested in leaving it on consignment. Now, of course, it needs to be a reputable store. Don't go to just any store. But ones that you know that you're going to be able to trust and that you want to leave it on consignment. And what that means is that if you leave 20 bars, if you come back next week and they sold five, then they owe you for five bars. And then I just put five bars in there and I keep it at 20. Now, some of my stores have 30 bars. Some of them have 20. So in order to keep track of how many bars you have in each store, I usually write back here. If this one's going to have 20, I'll write a big 20 right here. And then I know when I come in that store, I can look right at the back and I know how many bars I was supposed to have. And then I just count them and... Um, fill it back up for them and they pay me for what was sold. It's worked out wonderfully. Um, I have my soaps in four locations. Another one, um, I'm dropping off another one, not this one. I'm dropping off another basket on Monday. Now those I label and bag because they are like specialty soaps. It's just not a generic soap like this one and I have different kinds. So I do label and bag those. Um, so, and I'll fix a nicer basket to go in um, at that store. But I'll be dropping that off Monday. But I just thought I'd share. This is a cute little way to display, especially if you only make one kind of soap. Then um, that, that's a perfect way to display it. Even if you put bags on it and label it, that's still a great way to, to do it. Um, also, I wanted to share with you that this is the way that I've started. Um, and I know I'm jumping, but this is Soap Talk Tuesday. We're just going to talk about things that I do for soap. This is a, an essential oil blend that I use for one of my really, really popular soaps. 
And so what I decided to do is rather than have to take out the essential oils and mix the blend every time I get ready to make a batch of soap, which is, which is a couple times a week, I thought what I'm going to do is take some, um, some mason jars, doesn't have to be mason jars, but some jars, and I'm going to go ahead and measure out enough. There'll be 12, have them done, I'll label them on the top, and then I can just, I'm not even going to wash the jars, I'll put them back in here when I'm ready to put the essential oils in them again. I'll just measure the essential oils out and put them right back into the jars. Now I did label the top. You don't have to do this. I was writing it on the side, but sometimes it gets smeared off and I had to keep writing it. So I thought this is perfect. These are just little stickers that I had around that I knew I wasn't going to use for anything. So I just stuck them on the lid and I put a D and that lets me know what type of soap this, this goes in. Now, another thing, um, I um, can, and so therefore the, the lid here, the, the flat part, um, the lid, I've already used for canning and I can't use it again. So what I do is I wash them and I put them in a certain place so that I know they're used and then I use them for this. That way I'm not having to buy lids. Um, and then I take the, the rings that are like starting to get a little rusty. They're not going to come in contact with the, the essential oils and they're great for canning but every time you get some new canning jars you get new rings so it doesn't uh, and I have a bunch of them so I just use that and then I'll use this lid and, and the ring and the jar over and over and I won't wash it or anything keep it right in here and this is the way I do uh, my essential oils now the jars um, you can get at yard sales at thrift stores or of course you can buy brand new at Walmart or a local hardware store um, I've um, I bought these these brand new, but and I, and I didn't buy them for this purpose. I already had them in the pantry, so I just pulled them out. I took off the good lids and the good rings, put them away. I pulled out old rings and old lids, and then I, I filled these up. And then I'm going to do another one today of another type of soap. I'm going to kind of gradually, as um as I need them, I'm going to make them. And what I did is I was going to make this soap today, so um. I went ahead and measured out this one, but while I had it out, I thought, I'm just going to go ahead and do 12, and then I'll have them done, and I'll just put them away. Now, this here is my super fats. Now, if you do hot process, you probably do super fats. Now, everyone doesn't believe in super fats, and that's fine. Um, that's just a personal preference. I prefer to do the super fats. Some people think it's not necessary, and they don't do it. That, that's totally um, up to each soaper, and I respect those people, those soapers that decide not to do it, but this is something that I do, and I measure out the, I used to measure out the super fats in bowls and just have the bowl ready from when I was, well, when I got ready to make the soap, I measured it out in a bowl. Well, I decided that, you know, I'm having to take everything out and put everything back away every time I get ready to make a batch of soap. So what I did is I took these jars and these pint sized jars and I just open them and I fill them with my, my super fats. So I just put what I need in there for one batch of soap and I, I have them in the cabinet. I don't have them in a box so I couldn't take all of them out or I, I wasn't going to take all of, them, all of them out. But um, And then I just pour it out and pour it into the, the batch of soap. I use the same super fats every time so this doesn't change so I don't have to label it or anything. I know exactly what it is. Now you can use the metal rings if you want to. Uh, that's up to you. Uh, I just chose to use the plastic ones. Um, now these I chose metal because plastic and essential oils don't work well together. Um, the essential oil will um, melt, start to melt and wear away at the plastic and some of the plastic might leach into the essential oils. So I did not want to use plastic on those. But you can use either one on this. Um, put them in there, measure it, you know, do 12 at a time, 30 at a time, you know, five at a time. It doesn't really matter, but this has saved me a lot of time. I don't wash them because there are oils in there. I don't, nothing comes in, um, in, nothing contaminates it. And that's the only thing I'm going to put in there. So I just screw the lid back on. I actually put it back in the cabinet and then it's there for when I get ready to fill them up again. Now, these, um, I made some, some beer soap. And I'll show you, kind of show you how that looks. I made some some beer soap, and it's got little um pieces of oatmeal on the top. And I I don't even remember what I was in here, but I tried out a new mold that I bought at at um Tractor Supply, I think Agri Supply. 
these are the molds here and I bought them and I just wanted to try them out this is there's two of them here but so I used this soap and I just made a small batch and I put it in in there now what happened is when I put these on the shelf um I didn't even try to sell them I just put them on the shelf I wasn't sure how some people would react to um the beer in the soap <laughs> not that matters but some people it does so I just made them and put them on the shelf well they they got this white look about them and, and I guess it's called this the ash I think it's what some people call it um but so they sat there and it kind of got worse and worse and I thought oh, I definitely don't want to sell them I did use a bar it was nice soap um I scented it with oatmeal um oatmeal milk and honey I think is what it was fragrance oil and that's not usually something that I typically use but I did try a bar it worked it worked fine um so it smells really really nice so anyway what I did today is I pulled out um my steamer a clothes steamer and in order to get the ash off what you do is you just take take it and I hope you can see it and you just let it heat up and I turned it off and it's not going to heat up in time and you just do it like this and the steam will come up oh there it goes on see the steam and it will it will clean off um and I've already done this one but it'll clean off any of the um the white dried spots that are on there and so I clean those up with that but I just want to share that you can you can use this to clean stuff like that up I'm not sure that this is the ideal one you should use but this is the one that I have so I, I tried it and it did burn my fingers trying to hold it up over the top but nonetheless it worked fine I have them there drying and what I'm going to do is as soon as I feel like they're dry enough because they, I made those months ago but as soon as they're dry enough I'm going to go ahead and bag them and label them and close the bags and then I'm going to keep them and just see if it comes back or not because I don't want to sell it if it does because typically my soaps don't usually do that so we'll we'll see how that works but I just want to share that little tip with you um also if you notice uh my night my new table um I, I picked up this table at a some thrift store something re called something restore but I picked it up um it was a wood top but it had a couple little places on the top with rings and I, I sanded and couldn't really get it out so I decided to paint it I tried matching the cabinets but it didn't quite work out but that's okay I just hope it's gonna gonna hold up but we shall see but I only paid like 40 48 dollars I think with tax for the table and it's a really really sturdy table so I was able to get rid of the little plastic table so I was excited about that so I think that is it um thanks for watching um make sure you subscribe to my page and move on over to heavenly soaps and such and just subscribe to that page also give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment i'm enjoying reading the comments and commenting back with people um i'm i I'm, i don't mind answering questions so leave me a comment and like i said subscribe watch the ads for me it helps me out and I appreciate it, and thanks for watching Soap Talk Tuesday, and I'll see you next week.